Now in Genus 3, we have traditionally used VPCS to provide a lightweight PC in Genus 3 topologies. But VPCS doesn't give you a full Linux distribution, whereas Alpine Linux does. This is Linux, so we can install Linux tools on Alpine Linux. Be aware that if you're used to Ubuntu or other package management tools, Alpine Linux uses APK to install, upgrade, or delete software on a running system. So it's slightly different to other Linux distributions. So as an example, if you want to update the package list, you would use APK update to update the package list. If you wanted to add OpenSSH as an example, you would use the command apk add openssh and that now installs openssh or if you wanted to install other packages you could do that you can search for packages by using this command apk search dash v so paste that in notice there are many available so you could simply install the software that you wanted in a very similar way to other distributions of Linux. This is better than VPCS because it's Linux. It's important that you as a network engineer learn Linux and there's no better way to learn than to just use it in your GNS3 topologies. GNS3 does have other Linux containers that you can use such as Ubuntu and others, but Alpine Linux is very lightweight. In GNS3 2.1, I can duplicate a node, so I'll shut the node down and then duplicate it and duplicate it again. I'll delete this Ubuntu Docker container, but notice I can very quickly bold a topology of multiple devices by simply duplicating my Alpine Linux Docker containers, and then I could start them up and open up consoles to them. So as an example, on the second Alpine Linux device, I've got this IP address. On the first one, I've got this IP address, so 89. So on the second device, I could ping the first Alpine Linux container so it's very easy to build topologies using Alpine Linux. Here's the fourth PC, got this IP address, and I could simply once again ping the first Alpine Linux host. Very lightweight, very easy to use. So if all you want is a basic host device in your Genus 3 topologies, consider using Alpine Linux instead of VPCS. This gives you a lightweight Linux Docker container that you can configure either statically or use DHCP and install packages in a similar way to how you would install them on Ubuntu or other Linux distributions. Very easy once again to build a topology. Simply stop one of your containers and then duplicate it. And duplicate it again as many times as you need to build your Genus 3 topology to the size that you want it to be. So I'll open up Alpine Linux 6. Hasn't got an IP address yet. Now it does. So I can now ping the first Alpine Linux host. And to prove the point, I'll simply turn this off. I can no longer ping that device. I'll turn it on open up a console. It's now got an IP address of 48. 
So I should be able to ping that now, and I can. So consider using Alpine Linux instead of a VPCS in your Gina3 topologies. This is a very lightweight, security oriented Linux distribution. Remember, this is giving you Linux in a package that is smaller than 5 meg. So it's very popular as an example with Docker containers. You can run Linux commands such as top on this Docker container. I have config route hyphen n. You can install applications on this and do what you would normally do on a Linux operating system, but you're doing it on an operating system that is less than five megabytes. It's amazing how small Linux can get. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.